Okay, so we're back. I've made a, a voyage. I'm not going to bore you with taking, uh, showing you every voyage, and I'm going to be doing a lot more fast forwarding right now. But as you can see, I'm up to 813 coins. Had a pretty good trip coming back. I, I sailed to from here to Gold Rock and back again because that's where the best missions were. Uh, the exchange rate for these coins to gold are less than one per hundred so you can see I got a long way to go before 75 gold to get uh, where I need to be and I'm going to steal not steal <laughs> I'm going to buy if I can another bottle of water here and just put that in here because you can't get food on Al or on uh, Alchemist Island down there. There's there's water, but there's no food. You can't. You can buy, go in here and buy food through trade and eat that, but it's going to be raw. So I don't know if that's any good or not. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Gems are always good money makers, although that's not so good. And a lot of wheat. Watch your wheat. Um, I could do that voyage. It would be really slow. For 22 and 340 pounds, that's about all I'm going to be able to take. So I don't know if that's a good one either. Sometimes this happens. You get to a town and there's uh, not very good trips. Now, another one. Shorter voyage with the wind. So this would, if I'm going to do 340 pounds, I'd rather do, do it that direction than that direction. <laughs> so that would be probably a smarter voyage right now. Um, 24, 16, a bunch of lamb. And I think at this point, let's exit this for a second. Uh, log, reputation. I can now do four missions. The max you can do is five, so I am up to four, and I'm hungry. That's unfortunate. Um, let's see if there's... I'll have time. Uh, let's figure this out first. So, so far, Gold Rock and Albacore Town. Let's see if I have any... Even There's two. That's not bad. Not much money, but... It's a quick voyage. Uh, it's two missions, three missions. That's an easy one, weight-wise. And I do have four missions, so maybe I'll do Albacore Town, and we'll just take all those. A different island. It's nice to go to different places sometimes. I see here. This is a smaller island, and it kind of there's the dot. So uh, the port's right in between the two islands again. So. Let's just take all these. That's a heavy one there, as you can hear. <laughs> uh, next one. Sometimes you have to double click to find them. Albacore Town. We'll take that one. Albacore Town. And there should be one more. And I see. Uh, it's all four missions. There it is. White tobacco. We'll take that one too. Alright, so that's quite a load. Um, load the rum. I can put one of these right up in the bow. Let's see here. Tricky. Let's go forward as far as I can so it rolls forward. There we go. I'll probably try and put, if I have three of these, I think I do. It doesn't matter. I got beer too, so I got lots of ooh, lots of barrels. I did notice something that I didn't know before. If you right click, it straightens it up on you. That's kind of handy. It must be something that they just added because I don't remember that. I'm gonna drop that and try and inch it forward a little bit. There's gonna be a crowded boat on this trip. I may not be able to do any extra trade. Uh, I guess I'll take go back here. And 
and I am going to start fast forwarding through these. That didn't work. Um, to save, you know, so you don't have to sit here and watch the whole voyage. Unless something interesting happens. So much better not to hit right click unless you have to. Yeah, yeah I know I'm hungry. Because it pulls it closer to, I like it further away, it makes it easier to put where you want it to be. Perfect. Like I said, if you lean them back, they'll roll forward right into position for you. Now, this one I'm going to have to. Oops, not going to let me. So I'll do this one manually. Huh, won't let me. It made the liar out of me. It was working, now it's not. Let's put this one in here if I can. There. Ooh, that's a tight spot. That works. All right. So now I think I'm going to have to take some of these smaller ones and we'll cram these. I wonder if I can drop one in front of the barrel and the bow. I bet you I might be able to, as long as it's not hanging over too far. Ooh. Might be better to try and put it there. Okay, maybe one more try here. Perfect. It's like putting a puzzle together sometimes. These I'll put back. Oh, I'm going to, if I already didn't, I did. I threw my table over the side. <laughs> it was just taking up space. I don't need the table. I could probably pick it up and try and sell it. I might be able to get some coin for it. I might as well try. The guy's not here anymore, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so... Good. Is that all the smaller crates? Nope, there's one back here. I might as well take that one next. Stack them on top. You see, I'm pretty weighted in the bow, so I'm going to have to start thinking about those four up front. See how the bow is pretty low. Oops, I just, well, I need to bath. So, let's think about putting these back aft here somewhere. I'm going to drop one right in the middle there. Now, the problem with putting stuff in the walkway <coughs> is you have to fight to get back to the bed so let's see if I can get away without it doing that climbing on the on the uh, cargo on this ship is kind of a pain that you probably saw already oh don't roll over on me why did you do that you're going to do it again Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, so let's uh, that roll back. That's good. It's going to be pretty full. I don't know if I'm going to have room to do any extra trading on this one. Well, you build up your reputation and get to five missions and slowly you start to make more and more money. And again, I'll be. Uh, I'm just. This will probably be the last video that I do the load process at regular speed. I don't know. You, you get the idea. You got to balance the weight out. Oh, uh, don't fall over the side. This is kind of a, a heavy trip. Back go back good. One more. I might be able to do a little bit of trading. See if the Albacore town wants anything. Yeah, I got some space left. I'm kind of heavy. Sometimes it's good to push the limit.
It gives you a rough time. Nope. There we go. Okay, so I can make, maybe if there's small crates, I can take of quite a few. They're bigger than maybe one or two. Let's see what we got in the trade menu here. Now I'm going to Albacore Town. Uh, and they'd I don't make money off of salmon. I make a little bit off of lamb. Let's see if there's a better deal somewhere. Nope. And remember, the grayed out ones aren't offered for sale on this island. That's pretty good. I, I can buy um, rum for 39 and sell them for 61. How about beer? Nope, not quite as much. Now, keeping in mind that I can't take the lose of money on spices. Medicine? No. Nope. Books? Books are very heavy, by the way. White tobacco? Nope. So it looks like water rum is the way to go. Which one was it? Albuquerque Town. 21, yeah. So let's buy two of those and see how that fits. See if I can maybe buy a third. I'm getting tired, I'm hungry, <laughs> I'm thirsty. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a long drop, but... Uh, i got to do this again here. Come on. Boy, you are just killing me here. Barrels are the worst. They tend to bounce and roll and... That's got it. I concentrate on picking them up at the right angle. It helps a lot. You don't have to drop them and play with it. Perfect. Is that close enough? How am I doing for wheat here? Riding pretty low, pretty rolly. I got room for one more. I'm going to push the limit here. Take one more barrel of rum and hope I don't hit a storm. You can eat raw lamb, it's not going to hurt you, but it's 
just the grossness factor. <laughs> Did I drop it in the right spot? That would be surprising. No. See what I mean by walking on the cargo? It can get to be a pain. And I can't see what I'm doing because of that. I should make that invisible or something. Now if I drop this on the barrel, it might roll sideways and go right into place. Look at that. Close enough. Alright. So. I got water. I have to sleep. So now I'm going to fast forward through this. And I'm going to do this so it tells me when I can fast forward on the video. And I'm going to go to sleep until I'm fully rested. Nice long night's sleep. Um, I woke up because I'm thirsty. That's okay. I think I have some in here I can just drink up. Okay, so now that's solved. I do have... Let's take a lamb. Raw lamb. Mmm, yummy. Ooh, gives you good food. Alright, so... I'm going to Albacore Island, so I want to sail slightly east of northeast. Um, let's see. Slightly east of northeast. So I want to head out in that direction. So that's pretty good sailing. There's my table still floating around. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's right behind the wind. So that'll work. Now, Remember this sandbar. There's a sandbar here. You get stuck on this sandbar right off that little... Not the where the poles are. I'm going to walk over to it because this is a death trap. If you get caught in here, it is brutal getting your boat off that. Avoid that. I don't need any of that. Elixir of energy. Nah, let's see if I can sell this though. Yeah, I can get five for the empty crate. I'll do that. That worked out. Make money where you can make it. I am a little low in the bow here. That's okay. Not ideal, but it's okay. Alright, so... I want to get away from the sandbar, so you release that first. Maybe if I can get in here... Oh, I gotta do it from underneath push off a little bit. It's fighting me here. Come on. There we go. Now push off. A little more. That's good. And then up the ladder. Jump back. Oh. There's no ladder when you fall over to here. You gotta go back and around. angle. Turn the wheel. I'm starting to move forward a little bit. Wind is right behind me, so lowering the sail a little bit is really going to get me going. I'll do that for now. I don't want to go too fast here. I'm still moving away. And avoid that island. Somewhere in that direction, this should be close. Okay, so now we'll fully lower the sail. And the wind is right behind me, so that is the perfect sailing weather. So hopefully I can grab this. And I'm going to let it turn and let the wind catch the sail wide open here. And I should be off like a rocket ship. You can do 90 degrees when the sail is behind you, or the wind is behind you. That works out really well. And I'm off. Okay. 
it's a light wind, but I'm moving pretty good. I don't mind light winds. I mean, there's no storms around. All right, so I said slightly east of northeast, so that looks like a pretty good direction. Uh, food's good, water's good for the time being. Let's jump up here and make sure there's nothing surprising in front of me. There is not. Oh, that's calm seas. So I'll fast forward from here until I get to the island. So we'll slow down from here for a second. As you can see, I can see the island in the distance. I was a little too far uh, to port, but that's all right. If you can see it on the horizon that early, you're in good shape. So I actually want to steer a little bit further to the east. And then I want to check the map and make sure I'm not being dumb. I wish I could have waved her so I could see under the sail. I'm not going to do it though. I think I got to go over this way. Maybe a little more. Well, I'll have to jump off the, to the bow here and see. I think I got to go this way. We'll try that. Not the cup. I don't want the cup. Okay, where are we at here? I'm still going to turn a little bit further. The smaller boats, the sail often gets in the way. I'm going to go over this way, maybe to there. I'm watching the compass as I do this, by the way. I don't I'm assuming you know what I'm looking at. I'm still going to turn a little bit further. But I'll be there in no time with this wind. <coughs> Let's finalize the course here just a little bit. Doggone cup. <laughs> there we go. Heading right for it. Now if you look at the map, there's nothing over there. That's got to be Albacore Town. Uh, sometimes, like if you're going from Alchemist Island to Neverdin, of course you're going to see Lion's Fang first. Uh, I'm not doing that here. So, heading... Southeast. Why am I going southeast? Am I looking at this wrong? Did I spin around? Wait a minute. I'm not facing the right direction, am I? Well, that was scary. <laughs> Make sure you're facing off the bow when you're looking at your compass. Yes, that's better. So right there it is. It's getting dark. I'm sailing pretty much towards it. I can find to my uh, course as I get closer. But I'm going to fast forward from here also until I get to the, the port. see the light. The towns are usually lit up. Uh, I gotta wait 
to the wave. It is a little bit rougher right now. So right there is, should be where the pier is. Now I think there's a very narrow channel here that you got to shoot through, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to have to probably reel in the sail quite a bit. I got a really strong wind. I'm really booking. I think I want to go slightly to port. Yeah, that little channel there, I have to go up. I want to go a little bit to port, not much. I'm going to raise the sail so I can actually see where I'm going here. That's good. There's a little bit of speed that way, but you know what? I'm almost in port and I'm really flying anyway, so I don't know if I raised it enough or not. Yeah, I think so. that you're pulling into port wave that you see almost everywhere you go so now that's telling me I am now in what they consider the channel or the, the port entrance the winds can sometimes change the waves can sometimes change nothing major but that's something to keep in mind um, again this is a really narrow channel if I remember this correctly, it's even worse getting out. This is actually a true naval fact. Uh, some some uh, naval history and naval truths. At nighttime, if you're looking directly at your target, like if you're spotting for planes on the night watch, if you look right at it, there's a blind spot in the center of your eye. In order to see things better at night, you're trained to look to the side. And it actually works in this game. I don't know if it was designed that way, but if you look to the side, you can actually see things a little better. There's the pier right there. Uh, I see some sand here, so I am going to pull the sail up so I don't do anything stupid here go up most of the way with this wind. I'm still going to be... Oop, that was too far. There we go. Let's try that. I'm still going to be moving pretty quick. Okay, so it looks like I want to stay to the left. If I can get back down to the wheel here. Let's go over this way a little bit so I don't run aground there. And then I'll turn it back. Here's what I meant. I remember this was a narrow channel. And I do run aground quite often in this this one, especially leaving, because the wind isn't always perfect for you and it's very narrow. But as you can see, I'm going to clear that okay. I should anyway. It's pretty pretty high there, and I'm pretty low in the water, so don't be surprised if I scrape. Oh, we're good. Now there's one in front of me, so I gotta come back over. Make sure I miss this one. I'm gonna go raise the sail while I have a chance and drift the rest of the way because I do not want to come in here too fast. Even if I have to lower it again. So you stay to the right here because of the sandbar, I should say, to starters. And then steer yourself into the pier at the last moment. You steer to port and slide right onto the pier. You can see the narrow exit of this port that I have to navigate. It's even worse than coming in. Alright, so now I got it hard to port. I have the sail up, so I'm going as slow as I can go. And hopefully I stop. I did. Well, that worked out real well. That was a real good port entrance there. Alright, so... Need this one. Then i got to reel the aft line in a little bit. And again, you do this by grabbing 
the rope and then rolling backwards on your mouse wheel. If you have one, I, I have a mouse wheel. I don't know how to do it if you don't have a mouse wheel. And then you just release it and it ties it back up. And as you see, my front line is loose. So I gotta tighten this one up so I don't roll too far away from the pier. Because that one, if you're off the pier when you're unloading, you have a tendency to fall into the water. Okay, so I won't torture you with, torture you with this unload. I'll fast forward to this because this is going to take a little bit of a while. It's not as long as a walk as it is in uh, Alchemist Island. And they have a pier unloader here. I wonder why the other one didn't. There's one room. So I'm fully unloaded. The boat really came up, so I was really heavy. Uh, I think I saw lightning, and it does look like there's a storm over there. Uh, I'm not used to this uh, map having so many storms. Well, they may have changed something. Now, I wanted to point something out. The stuff that you buy will just say what it is. It won't say do in Albacore Town. Uh, that's how you know the difference. That this is something that you wanted to, that you bought to trade. So then you go into the trade menu here, and that's rum. Oh, I did get a receipt again. That's why I like to get receipts. I don't remember what I bought it, bought it for anymore. Uh, but I can sell it for fifty-eight. I don't think I got a receipt. I like getting a receipt so you know how much money you make. And I forgot. Maybe I did. Nope, that was before. That's one of the missions I did to make money and not totally bore you with. Well, anyway, I'm going to sell three of these. I don't remember what I bought it for. I'll get a receipt for that. Uh, get a receipt. Alright, so that's it. Now, like I said, to now make up to 800. I made a couple hundred coins in that trip. Uh, like I said, the exchange rate it is starting to rain. This is supposed to be a desert map. <laughs> I must have got it during the rainy season. Um, it is a little less, a little more than 100 coins per gold when you trade it in. And the market affects that too. The more you trade in, the more you have to pay. So um, it's going to be a while before I have the 75 gold. So I'm going to do some grinding off video until I get to about that point so as not to bore you. Uh, but this, you get the idea. Uh, you sail between, make as many trips, load your ship down as much as you dare. Um, and hope you don't hit a storm. I'm glad I got in with that load before this hit. Because that would have been interesting. But now I'm going to go to sleep, drink some water. And uh, rest up for the next voyage and I'll load up. Okay, this is Navy Old Salt Gamer. If you like these videos, go ahead and uh, subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate it. it gives me motivation to keep doing it. Uh, 
I will return when I get closer to buying the big ship or maybe when I'm just ready to buy the big ship but I have quite a bit of grinding to do before that uh, one of the things of this game is you do have to make quite a bit of voyages it's it's fun uh, the, the weather can and the wind can throw you nasty curveballs and if you risk loading your ship up this line is too tight if you risk loading your ship up and then uh, hit a storm like this you could sink and that cost you but I'll see you in the next episode